you're going to take the playhead and move it to the beginning of the timeline and to make sure that the copy of the column which is the translucent material make sh making sure that that part does not show you're going to hide that part and you're going to make sure that the original column is showing in the browser you're going to hide the original column and you will show the column with the translucent material so you can see through it so you can adjust the locations of these and this will give you an opportunity to when you go to transform so when you select transform and select the object you will click on the screw and you will move the screw out until the end of the screw is at the edge of the hole so we will stop the recording just so we can zoom in to make sure and we can if you need to you can right click and edit this action but we want to make sure that the end of the screw is at the edge of the of the hole I can change the duration to set this at like four, uh, four seconds. So we'll turn this back on so it's recording. The other movement that you want to make will be for this to rotate. So again, it's going to be rotating to the left, again, 360 degrees in a revolution, times, which is the asterisk, and if you want to do 10 revolutions, again, if you want it to go left, you would type in a negative and press enter. Then you will go back to transform and you can move the playhead out. And select that screw. I'll move this out. Go to transform. The screw is selected and then keep moving this out we'll click OK then you can change the visibility of it of that screw by clicking on the hide and show in the browser you at this point you may want to show the original column that way it comes back um, into the fold and as you keep letting this run the column will start to separate from the base you will pull up the playhead out a few seconds and we'll zoom out so we can see the product we'll pull the playhead out some more um, a few more seconds 
and we will start to transform. So go to transform and select the column. You can either use the up arrow or you could drag it uh, to the right. But I might want this column to go up and just animate it going up. Click on OK. And then in the browser, click on the eye for the column so it will fade away.